Seville, Sevilla, and we have found our way to Las Setas, which are a giant sort of sculpture. And it's called Las Setas because it's shaped like a mushroom, and Setas is mushroom in Spanish. So we're going to see if we can figure out how to get up to the top so that we can have a bit of a look up top. And we'll see you soon. Well, here we are at the top of the Setas. We've just paid. 15 euro to come to the top of the Mirador. There is apparently a little video show that we can see while we're up here, the uh, feeling of Seville. And we're gonna have a bit of a meander around and see what can be seen up here. We have just been up to the top of the Setas and we have discovered a number of things. Number one, it is the largest wooden structure in the entire world. And even though they chopped down 3,000 finished forests to make it. I think it was finished pine trees, not oh, forests. 3,000, sort of the same. Even though they chopped down 3,000 finished pine trees, they planted three for every one, which suggests to me this is the largest IKEA structure in the world. I oh, know that's Swedish, isn't it? Anyway, I saw the little connectors and it looked like it was made by IKEA. So, we have visited the largest IKEA structure in the entire world and it was great. Okay. We've been walking the streets of Sevilla for a little while, had a really good meal, plenty of beers, and Susan's found a ferretateria, and we're wondering if they come battered. <laughs> and in fact, it looks like a Bunnings. <laughs> Do they sell ferrets? <laughs> I can't see any ferrets. Oh dear. All righty, ferretateria is their version of a Bunnings, not battered ferrets. Oh, well. <laughs> First six hours or so in Sevilla. Yep. What are your thoughts? So far, so good. Probably the best ice cream I've had in a very long time. Orange, cinnamon, and ginger. And noisy motorbikes. Yes. So what flavour was it? Orange, cinnamon, and ginger. Sensational. It was delicious. That was very good. It was and refreshing. All within a ice cream stick from home. Exactly so. My initial feeling of Sevilla is it's a pretty sensational town. I'm loving it. Uh, I've got it above Granada at this point in time. It's just the tapas that's got it over the line for you? Pretty much. The tapas was pretty good tonight. We had a really nice meal and a really good time. And finally, we are out as late as the... Locals. Locals, but guess what? It's about 11 o'clock at night. It's time for old blokes to go home and have a sleep. See you in the morning. Here we are in Seville in the Plaza de España. It's an enormous public space and there are hundreds of tour buses here today. Uh, despite that, it's not super crowded. We've made an early start. It's the start of October and the weather's pretty warm. It's expected to be in the mid-30s today, so we thought we'd come out early and there's a lovely cool breeze here. This area is famous for all the tiled frescoes that sort of run all the way around the side of um, the building and each one's got a, a different motif on it. Lots of people were sitting in front of them having their photos taken because there's ones for different cities. There's Madrid and Barcelona, so people who've been to different places were having photos taken in front of them. There's also a canal here. You can hire a rowboat and take yourself for a bit of a, a punt around or there are also horse and cart rides which are going through the park and out through the middle of the square. From here we're going across to the Alcazar. Uh, we booked tickets for that a couple of days ago to try, they had timed entries there so in order to not stand in a queue for a huge amount of time it pays to book your tickets early, we've already done that. Uh, we've also got tickets for the cathedral which we'll be going to later in the day. So a fairly full day coming up for us.
here we are at Alcazar. Susan has found one of her favourite things, hedges. She loves hedges. She's like, I like this hedge. And what's even better, there's a man trimming a hedge with a hedge trimmer. This is like hedge porn. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is like hedge heaven. Sevilla is the world's largest Gothic cathedral. It's built on the site of a former mosque and you can see the remnants of the Moorish influence in its decorative elements. We were surprised to discover that it houses the tomb of Christopher Columbus. But you probably already know that if you visit there because you will have been fully informed by watching this video. The cathedral has been named as a UNESCO World Heritage Site so it should definitely be on your to-do list for your to do Sevilla. just finished two nights in Seville. We probably could have allowed an extra night or two because there's been so much to see. We've been to the Alcazar, the cathedral, we've wandered around the town and we've eaten probably too much tapas but it was all a lot of good fun. It's been a great place to visit. Tomorrow we'll be catching a bus down to Tavira in Portugal. It's only a two hour bus trip, well it's one hour when you allow for the time change but it's two hours all up and we'll catch you when we get there.